Muffins. I'm two years old, dwarf hamster, and I live here with the two giants that bring me seeds all the time. This is where I live, and it's about time to rebuild my house. Right, human? Alright, Muffin. I will take it from here. First of all, I've made a sketch. I didn't want the design to be very different from what we already had, because Muffins is quite old and I didn't want to add more stress to her. I've started with few simple materials, with knife, pencil, scissors, ruler, popsicle sticks, wood glue that is non-toxic to hamsters, and cardboard. Later I've added a few more materials. So I'm starting with the two houses that will be below and later I'm gonna make a ramp that is on top of them. I make the houses with open roofs so I can inspect on muffins and see what she's doing or if she's okay. This piece of cardboard was conveniently cut and connected. It's a piece of packaging from IKEA furniture, so if you have a piece, it's very good to keep some. I'm cutting out the door in the size of muffin. <laughs> and glue it together. I've clipped it together with uh, my sewing clips. You can see that the houses are a bit wobbly, so I'm going to put uh, the popsicle sticks on top. And while it's drying, I'm going to make the shape of the platform on top. I've used a double layer of uh, cardboard because I want to put a ceramic bowl with sand on top as she had it before. Uh, it's quite convenient for the setup I have and she's also used to the position of the bath there. Okay, then the final ones. And of the camera I put some weight on top of it so it does not move and stays nice. Okay, so time to put the fence on. I just cut a random length of the popsicle pieces and I'm gluing them around the platform. Okay, done. Now onto the ramps. I've put it already onto the houses, so it's more convenient for me to work on it. And glued on some ramps I prepared. It's important to add some steps, either as I did it with the popsicle sticks or uh, previously I made it with wavy cardboard. And to finish off the fence, I've added a natural fiber string. I was going for a kind of jungle, wild forest, um, tropical vibe. So uh, my boyfriend says it's a bit piratey. <laughs> Let's decorate it. For painting the details I'm gonna use food coloring. I've used that before for Muffin's stuff and um, she never had problems with it. But she also does not like to eat the hard paper. She in general prefers chewing on napkins or a cardboard. But if your Hemi is a big chewer maybe be careful with adding too much of colors. And because we're in jungle, we need some leafy wines. So I'm using the natural rope, the string. And uh, from a green napkin, I've made these leaves. I've simply cut on a folded piece um, shape of leaf. 
and then I twist and pinch it around the string. And in the evening I had fun cutting out little flowers and leaves for the final decorations. Here I'm installing the vine, but um, I wanted it kind of loose because I'm kind of expecting Muffin going nuts one night and eating all the leaves, so I wanted it to be removable. Most of the flowers are glued on, but some of them I wanted to attach to the string, so I've used pure cotton thread to sew it on. Okay, and it's done! This is Muffin's new jungle castle home thingy. <laughs> I hope she accepts it as her new home. Let's see. And reveal. The quality is terrible because she was up in the evening. So I've installed it in the evening when she was up. And I didn't want to shine some bright light at her. So um, yeah, it's quite dark and I had to make it lighter uh, later. But you can see she's kind of fine with it. She understood the ramps. I lured her up there with a millet, which uh, she adores. And I think in general it's quite success. I think she likes it. And a final shot to see how it looks in the daylight in the setup. You can see she's very busy making new bedding uh, in her house. In the near future I would like to redo also the house that is on the opposite side of the box because it's pretty used and half eaten. Here is a little extra bonus track of Muffin Fluffin fluffing around and I will leave you here. Thank you for watching and have a great day!